Dijon wasn't a dog. That's Dijon Guillory's mother. One day after learning, an Evangeline Parish deputy will not face charges in her son's death. Her son, Dijon Guillory, was shot and killed by a deputy in July. Today, the family met with District Attorney Trent Brignac, and while Brignac says the meeting was, quote, productive, the family still has questions. Kendry LaFleur has more in our top story. All I know is that there's a great injustice here. It's, it's one-sided and it's, it's an injustice. My son is not here to tell his story. Dijon Guillory's mother, Monica Fontenot, is still stunned by the grand jury's decision, clearing the deputy who shot her son. On Thursday, she and other relatives met with the district attorney, but they still came away unsatisfied. I still think that it's unjust, without a doubt. They're talking about DNA evidence was on the weapon. Of course, you get shot point blank in the back, your DNA is going to be on there. There's blood splatters and all sorts of things. You get shot in the back, of course you're gonna have DNA on it, you know? Other relatives say the grand jury's ruling will harm the relationship between law enforcement and some members of the community. Just because it's a police officer, it's okay. Basically, that's what Evangelion Parish is telling us. It's okay to sit down here and kill innocent people. <laughs> now these people have to sit down here and endure all this pain, all this hurt, all the emotions. District Attorney Trent Brickneck says he will meet with the family Friday to discuss more about the case. In Evangelion Parish, Kendra Lafleur, KAT. In case you don't know about this story, this is the story about the young man that was on the four-wheeler with his girlfriend. And a police officer pulled him over and he didn't have his license on him because they was going swimming in a pond. And the officer basically gets into a fight with him and kills him right in front of his girlfriend for riding a four-wheeler without a license in the country.